The ecological crisis for me is one of the greatest challenges we face in our time. And perhaps it's an outward reflection of a deeper spiritual crisis. We've lost our respect for creation and our sense of the sacred. The Quran tells us how God has created everything in balance. And if we upset the balance, it has disastrous consequences, not only for the world around us, but also for our souls. So perhaps what we need is a spiritual revival, a revival of spiritual consciousness, which would inspire us to all get together, no matter what faith, to try and save the planet, because this affects us all. Prophet Muhammad had a very close, almost intimate relationship with nature. He was beloved by all creation, by stones, by plants, and by animals. He taught us as a branch of faith to remove litter from the streets. And when in the last hour, on the day of judgment, if one of us holds a palm shoot in his hand, we are supposed to plant it. So this really means how we must never give up, never feel defeated, and really do our best until the very end. Muhammad taught us to protect nature, to observe its signs, and to meditate upon them. Now, in our day and age, due to pollution and climate change, this may not always be possible. I mean, just now, the United Kingdom's beaches have been classified as one of the most unclean in the whole of Europe. And I really believe it's uh, our time now, the time has come that we clean up our act and uh, shed this image of being the dirty man of Europe and in fact become one of the leading lights. You know, work on reducing our carbon footprint, uh, developing renewable energy at a national level. But then again, also each one of us on an individual level, we can all do our little bit to well, make this world a better place, to conserve energy, to, to you know, live environmentally friendly, to live green. Actually, by nature, Muslims should be environmentalists because Muhammad and the Quran teach us to protect the environment, to look after our resources. In fact, we are the stewards of Earth, uh, on the stewards of our Earth. We are meant to look after our Earth in a responsible way and recycle, conserve the energy and uh, really be good human beings in that way and establish harmony again between us and the world around us. Because once we're at peace with the earth, we will be at peace with heaven. <laughs>